Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On Monday, the 13th of May, Southwest Water was notified by the UK Health Security Agency of a cryptosporidian uh, cases in the Brixham area. Southwest Water undertook monitoring uh, Monday evening into Tuesday, with the results Wednesday morning identifying crypto in the Hillhead distribution area. A boiled notice was issued for customers on Wednesday, the 15th of May, to cover the Hillhead area and also the Alston area, and I know this has caused considerable concern and disruption to the local community. Uh, today, UXA have identified at least 46 uh, confirmed cases of uh, cryptosporidium, uh, but given symptoms may take up to 10 days to emerge, uh, obviously that may continue to rise. Uh, two people have been hospitalised. Um, two bottle water stations were initially opened on the Thursday the 16th, and in my call with the Chief Exec on Friday, I requested a third be opened and the hours extended, both of which then happened, uh, effective from Saturday. I also raised concerns with, uh, uh, including those shared with me by the Member for Totnes and the Member for Torbay in terms of compensation, which was inadequate. Uh, that was raised to £115 for residents in the Alston supply area. It's now gone to 215 for those continuing to be affected uh, in the Alston uh, area, uh, and in terms of businesses, a helpline has been established, uh, and I requested that work with local MPs to streamline the process. In addition, the chief, uh, in addition, the Minister for Agriculture visited the community on Friday. Um, to date, whilst uh, 16,000 properties were initially subject to the bore notice. 85% of those, so 32,000 of the residents, uh, 14,500 properties, who receive their water from the Alston Reservoir have now had that bore notice lifted. Uh, and not only have all the tests on the Alston Reservoir been clear, South West Water say that the positive test of the valve uh, supports uh, their contention that the most likely cause is downstream of that reservoir, and if that is the case, then those re residents, uh, initially the 85%, were never subject to any issues in terms of water, but the boil notice applied on a precautionary uh, basis. But notwithstanding that, I'm sure there will be ongoing concerns, so daily testing will continue of that water for the foreseeable future. On the Hillhead Reservoir, uh, this has now been drained, cleaned and refilled. Uh, a flush of the network started this morning aimed at removing traces of crypto uh, detected in the system. We are working with South West Water and the Drinking Water Inspectorate, recognising the ongoing disruption to that remaining 15% uh, of residents. Uh, and I know that South West Water will want to comply fully and in a timely fashion with the investigation of the Drinking Water Inspectorate. And to Mr. Speaker, there is a crisis of confidence in South West Water. Their response has been frankly hopeless. They've had poor communications, poor initial compensation that every extra pound seems to be dragged out of them, and they have a record of failure on yes. sewage. What is the government going to do to help restore confidence in South West Water that not only are they competent and able to manage our water supply, that the water that comes through our tap is safe for everyone to drink? And how can we encourage people to have faith in the outstanding and brilliant tourist offer that we have in the South West that has been battered yet again by bad news because of South West water? Well, well, I agree with the Honourable Gentleman around the, the brilliant tourist offer there is. Uh, and as I touched on a moment ago, I think the, there is work to do in terms of supporting businesses who will have been hit, impacted, particularly in the hospitality trade, by the, sort of the reputational damage that the area has had uh, as a consequence of this. I can assure him I've made those points to South West Water. Uh, I've also spoken, as I touched on in my statement, to them around their compensation, which has moved, but there's further work, particularly with the business community, uh, to do. But it's also why I think the investigation is so important, so we get to the bottom of exactly what happened. That's important both to residents who have had the disruption of the boil notice, but it's also important to residents further afield. Anne-Marie Morris. 